Let's settle. We'll go to Vegas the last week of July when my father is safely out of town. Yeah, that week doesn't work for me. But it has to. But it doesn't. I have to go either before that or after that. Why? Because... That's your answer? Timing is very important with these sorts of things. You're going to Vegas to gamble with high rollers, right? Right. Well, isn't Vegas like the high roller capital of the world? Aren't they always there? Maybe. So it doesn't really matter what we could go. On the other hand, this is the only time that I have to play with. It would be so great, you and me in Vegas, not having to worry about my parents, you know, barging in on us and accusing us of getting married. On the other hand, you know, Vegas is the quickie marriage capital of the world. Hey, too. bite your tongue. Been there, got my heart stomped on, thank you very much. We're not getting married in Vegas. What, what am I talking about? We're not even going to Vegas. Hey, hey, have you heard from your sister? Neither one. We're looking for Molly. Oh, yeah, she was here earlier. Did she say or do anything that might look suspicious? Uh, she seemed anxious to connect with Morgan, but other than that... What's going on? Molly and Morgan took off with Jocelyn. Why would they do that? It's a long story, but right now we have to find them as quickly and quietly as possible. Right, so any help you guys can give us, we'll take it. Molly is not answering or replying to my texts. So what does that mean? That my little sister is too smart for her own good. She didn't bring her phone, so the GPS can't track her. Oh, that is smart. I just hope my sister's okay because I want her fully conscious when I kill her. This is probably the worst idea that she's ever had. Well, the good news is, both Molly and Morgan are too young to drive, so they can't have gone too far. Thank God for that. And, I mean, how many places can they really go with a toddler and not be noticed, right? In the meantime, we just hope and pray that Jax does not find out. It, he could totally use this against Carly. Oh, that's right. They're in that custody battle thing. Well, it's more like a war. With Morgan and Jocelyn disappearing under Carly's watch, that gives him pretty serious ammunition. So which side are you rooting for? I try to stay neutral. Jax is my godfather, and... He's always been great to me. I did not know that. I'm a constant revelation. Yes, you are. On the other hand, I like Carly. I know well, I'm probably not supposed to, but I think she's cool. She's all fierce, but you know, caring at the same time. Well, she certainly doesn't suffer fools lately. I gotta admire that. Jax is saying that she's a, a bad mother. That, that she's dangerous for her kids to be around, so she shouldn't have Jocelyn. Well, that's more about Sonny and Jason and Carly, right? Well, that's what Jax is saying, but honestly, I think he's just upset that their marriage didn't work out. Which is totally unfair, using Jocelyn to get back at Carly. The whole thing just makes me sad, because Jax is better than this. Yeah. Well, love makes asses of us all. Who said that? I just did. Profound. Oh, I know, right? I'm a thinker. <laughs> oh, my God. You totally helped me figure this out. Good for me. Figure out what? Well, I have you off track, but I know exactly where Morgan and Molly took Jocelyn. You guys are in so much trouble. How did you find us? Well, your sister knows you well. Apparently, the country club is right down the road. Well, the Pizza Shack used to be your favorite stop off for a snack. You don't like the food at the club, and you're upset that it didn't open. Plus, this place is in walking distance from Carly's house, so you didn't have to take Joss on public transportation. Excellent detective work. You guys should go work with Sam. Do you realize the potential train wreck you could have set in motion by taking Jocelyn? We were just trying to get Mom and Jax back together. Well, this isn't the way to do it. Grab your things. But they're supposed to show up together to pick Jocelyn up. You emailed Jax, too? No, just Carly with instructions for both. Thank God. You realize Jax could use this to strengthen the custody case against Carly. Never mind. Let's go. We need to get Jocelyn home and hope that Jax never finds out that she was gone. You are in so much trouble, I don't even know where to start. Sorry I scared you, Mom. Sorry doesn't cut it. Come here, baby. I don't want to yell at you in front of your sister. I think she's had a hard enough day, don't you? Here, I'll take her to Mercedes. Come on. Thank you. Come on, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Nice going, Morgan. Thank you both for finding them. Oh, well, Christina deserves all the credit. Don't even try to justify this or come up with some kind of excuse, Please okay? don't be too hard on Morgan. This was all my idea. I thought if you and Jax were forced to reunite for Jocelyn's sake, you'd realize that you still love each other and get back together. Okay, I'm speaking to both of you when I say this. What you did was wrong. And not to mention really dangerous. You know Jocelyn is still recovering from a kidney transplant? What if something went wrong? We took her medicine with us, Mom. If there was a real crisis, the medication wouldn't have mattered. Do you realize that? I guess we didn't think it out very well. There's more than just one reason this was a really bad idea. Why do you think we have guards all around? 
Because Dad has enemies. Yes, and if those enemies would have found out that you guys took off on your own, what do you think would have happened? I'm not done with you. Carly Jax. Okay, thanks for calling. Well, the judge made a decision about Jocelyn's custody. Well, my compliments. You managed to divert what could have been a disaster. I'm just glad that we got everybody back home, and hopefully it ends here, and Jax will never have to know. Are you worried I'm going to tell on you? Mm, I trust you implicitly. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, I just dropped Molly off. She is one grounded young lady. I'm sure Mom is flipping out. Yeah, Molly barely made it through the door when your mom confiscated her laptop. Oh, this is only the beginning. That's kind of weird, though, because usually I'm the one that's grounded. Well, this time you're the heroine of the piece. Man, that's true. <laughs> well, my mom might have lost Jocelyn if Jax found out she was missing. So thank you for finding out where Molly and Morgan were. Well, you can pay me back. Uh-oh. A dad is going to be gone the last week of July, and I need you to run interference with my mom. How come? Ethan is taking me to Vegas, 